It's always tough to judge something new, right? I would know. I pretty much do it for a living. You have to keep your biases aside, you have to have a rational outlook, and you always need to be just the right amount of judgmental, never overly so. Sometimes though, it just is a lot easier. Like with the Moto Morini Xcape 650X. No, that is no typo. It really is called the Xcape. They even slapped a adventuring badge, really badly spelt, on it. With all that's going on in the world, I suppose the invention of a name for a vehicle is low down on the priority list for most. But, 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 that's the only minor flaw in an otherwise really impressive ADV. It's no joke, the Xcape. I quite like the flat panels that adorn the bike, makes it look minimalist yet purposeful. And if you can believe it, that's a sizable 18 litre fuel tank. So if you're planning a few road trips with this one, you honestly can without a headache. And this 835mm seat height is just perfect for that. I'm just shy of six feet tall, so it is quite easy for me to just have a leg swung over and get both my feet on the ground. But even for shorter riders, because of the narrow width of the seat, it is easy to just get your feet there. Next up, the Xcape's gorgeous TFD. This is seven inches of just pure real estate, only for your readouts. I love that. And it is brilliant, this TFD display. It's got a crisp readout, some great looking visuals, like this one that changes once you go from off-road to ride mode. Small touches that go a long way. Even the quality of their switchgear is fantastic. I think the fact that they're going to the extent of giving you backlit switchgear is a really good testament to their quest for detail. Anyway, I think that's enough rambling. It's time to get a move on and see what the Xcape escapes like. See what I did there? I need to be frank, I was not expecting this to be any good on the move. But right from the moment you thumb the starter, the Xcape surprises you. There's a 649cc inline twin working away between your legs, and it's really quite impressive, this motor. It's not the most responsive at anything under 3500 revs, but post that, it picks up a serious amount of pace rather quickly. What's astonishing is that this bike handles like an absolute champ. I can't pin this down to one particular aspect, but seeing how tall it is in profile made me think that it would be wayward at best around corners. But it's not. There's a rebound as well as a preload adjustable monoshock at the rear and USD forks up front, which are just top quality. The Pirelli Scorpion STR tires give you oodles and oodles of grip. And the 250 kilo dry curb weight is just right. Not too heavy and not too light either. All these components come together to give you one heck of a seriously capable machine out on the road. Even the suspension will take care of all the bumps and potholes you throw its way with ease. This should not be that much of a surprise considering it's an ADV, so some light off-roading shouldn't trouble it in the least. All in, I think this is one heck of a standout bike from Moto Morini. The only gripe I had was with the windscreen, which despite being adjustable, just comes in the way too much while you're sitting and riding. It's really not hard to like this Moto Morini. It's striking, easy to live with, rides and handles really rather well. And on top of that, it's really, really distinctive. And if somehow you can say the word ex escape without much confusion, more power to you. Anyway, thank you for watching. This is Forbes New Momentum. I'm Ronak and I'm going to go get an espresso on this Xcape.